We are joined by market enthusiast Aline Wirat Maja. Aline, so this is actually um, interesting for me, but uh, I cannot help but ask how did the Asian and European markets perform today? Yes, Han. So European stocks advanced on Wednesday, even though investors braced themselves for the latest and very <coughs> announcement from the U.S. Federal Reserve funds. Meanwhile, Asian markets traded mixed on Wednesday, as we mentioned, after the U.S. equities crumbled overnight in another volatile season. We saw Shanghai close higher by 0.66%, Hong Kong was up 0.19%, Meanwhile, the International Monetary Fund, IMF, downgraded its global growth forecast for this year as rising COVID-19 cases and supply chain disruptions and higher inflation hamper economic recovery. IMF expects global gross domestic product to weaken from 5.9% in 2021 to 4.4% in 2022, with this year's figure being half a percentage point lower than previously estimated, Hans. The IMF downgraded its global growth forecast for this year. What about Indonesia? Uh, Indonesia's composite index's performance today amid COVID-19 concerns. Yes, Hans, it's also limited <coughs> because uh, we see Indonesia composite index today gained 32 points or 0.5 percent as market bounced back from two-day losses to close at 6,600. Nine sectoral indexes closed higher on Wednesday trading, including IDX Health, which jumped 1.89 percent. Of course, this is related to the new COVID-19 cases. Mm -hmm. IDX Technology, which was up 1.68 percent, while IDX Property and IDX Manufacture were closed lower. Daily value transaction increased to 13.6 trillion today, but foreign investors booked a net sale of 106 billion rupiah in regular market hands. And today we saw the changes in constituents for LQ45 has been announced on Wednesday. Five companies were added to the list, making the shares going up pretty significant today. Let's mm -hmm. check them out. We can see here Sumber Alvaria Trijaya AMRT, the groceries retailer, jumped 13.24% mm -hmm. to 1,155. Mm -hmm. Waskita Karya, state-owned construction company, was up 3.57% to 580. Along Makota Technology, EMTK, climbed 2.61% to 1,770. Harum Energy, coal producer, HRUM, gained 4.15% to 10,675. And then BFI Finance, BFIN, advanced 3.24% to 1,275. This LQ45 adjustment will be effective from February to July 2022, Hans. And then related to your questions, mm -hmm. daily new confirmed cases of COVID-19 in Indonesia has reached 4,800 for the first time in four months. The last time Indonesia had more than 4,800 new confirmed cases in a day was on September 11, 2021. Indonesian capital Jakarta recorded the most Omicron variant cat cases among other provinces in Indonesia. And so, mm -hmm. as of Wednesday, 1,697 Omicron cases have been reported in the capital. Mm -hmm. Due to the surge of COVID-19 cases, we saw hospital shares largely advanced today. Among them were Mita Keluarga Karya Sehat or Mika, soared 7.24% to 2,370. Selam International Hospitals, Silo also jumped 6.67% to its psychological level. 
8,000 Royal Prima Prim gained 7.69% to 392 and Medica Loka Hermina Hill climbed 1.35% to 1,134. Tomorrow's trading, of course, all market participants are looking ahead for the Fed monetary policy announcement on mm -hmm. Wednesday 2 p.m. Eastern Time. Hans, back to you. All right, Alin, thank you so much for your um, extensive explanation today and also uh, stay healthy and take care.